Hey everyone, welcome to The Modern Brain. My name is Dr. Titus Chu, and this is my first Facebook Live, so I'm super excited to share this information with you guys. So recently, actually all throughout my practice as a functional neurologist, I get asked the question all the time, what are the best supplements I could take for brain health? And so I decided to put together this little Facebook Live to answer that question for you guys. So as I said, I've worked with many patients throughout the years, people suffering from all kinds of you know, complex neurological disorders such as Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, concussion, um, and I've just noticed different patterns and did a bunch of research to be able to help them get better and focusing on things such as diet, supplements, and lifestyle has really made a huge impact on their lives. In addition, I actually have a family history of Alzheimer's, and so I do whatever I can to decrease the risk for that. And um, doing things such as diet, supplements, and lifestyle has made a huge impact on my life. Not even just talking about some, you know, far off chance of getting a disease, you know, maybe 20, 30 years down the line, but actually taking action on these things has made a profound impact on my life today. Such things as I have a lot more energy than I used to have, better focus and concentration, um, my memory has improved, and just overall my mood too. <laughs> so that's really important. So without further ado, let's get started. These are the six best supplements for brain health. So number one, I want to share with you liquid sunshine, or otherwise known as vitamin D. I prefer taking this in a liquid form because vitamin D is actually, it's not a vitamin, it's actually a hormone, but it's fat soluble. And so that means that it gets better absorbed with other fats. So this, this one that I take is, it comes with MCT oil or medium chain triglyceride oil. And what that does, it helps improve the absorption of vitamin D. The reason why this is really important for brain health is because one of the biggest things that is an enemy to brain health is what's known as inflammation. And vitamin D has been shown time after time to really help decrease brain or neuroinflammation. And it also helps to boost your mood and improve your immune system. So here, I'll go ahead and take a little. Mmm. <laughs> All right. Supplement number two. This one is a formulation of B vitamins, and I prefer this uh, brand here, or the specific type, Homocysteine Supreme, because it has an activated form of what's known as folate. And folate, as well as vitamins B12, B6, are really important for, once again, decreasing inflammation, and specifically, decreasing what's known as homocysteine. Now, homocysteine is a pro-inflammatory amino acid that can do major damage to your brain, increase the risk for dementia, as well as impact your neurotransmitters, which has a, wreaks havoc on your mood as well as your cognition. Um, when we lower homocysteine and we lower inflammation by taking B vitamins, we actually improve oxygenation to our brain as well. So that's the number two supplement that I recommend for brain health. Moving right along, this guy here, this little bad boy, known as alpha lipoic acid. So this is a fatty acid that's really, really important for energy production in what's known as your mitochondria. And it's also a very, very powerful antioxidant. So it protects your brain from free radicals. So like I said before, there's an, a major enemy of brain health, which is known as inflammation. A second one is known as free radicals. And so when you have too many free radicals, think of your brain like getting rusted up. Then you want to make sure that you combat that with antioxidants. And alpha lipoic acid is a really, really important one for that. Moving right along, number three, some of my favorites here. The third supplement I recommend for brain health are what's known as probiotics. So you guys are probably familiar with probiotics and you're definitely familiar with what are known as antibiotics. So these are the opposite. Bio meaning life. I would rather take things that are pro <laughs> bio, pro life for my for my brain health and my body health. So probiotics, what they actually are, they're these little bacteria, and we actually should have a bunch of them in our guts if we're balanced and healthy. Now, the reason why it's really important to take probiotics or have a good balance of good bacteria because of what's known as the microbiota, 
gut brain connection, meaning what happens in your gut doesn't stay in your gut. It actually travels and has huge impacts on your brain. And so if you have an imbalance of the good bacteria, that could actually lead to things like depression, anxiety, autism even, ADHD. There's all this research looking at the impact of our gut health and our brain health. And a big star of that show is probiotics. So the probiotics actually, the this one I really like here. This one comes in capsule form, but you can see here this one also has, comes in a powder form and you could just dump it on a spoon. One of the benefits of this is you can make little lines and I'm just, just playing. You could put it on a spoon and then when you put it in your mouth, <laughs> ever seen that show True Romance? Anyways. <laughs> Just don't get it all over your face. But even if you do get it all over your face, <laughs> you have probiotics all over your skin, your mouth, as well as your belly. <laughs> and so you only you not only want to have good bacteria in your gut, you also want it all over your skin and your mouth. <laughs> All right, that was, that was awesome. I'm moving right along. Do I have bacteria in my teeth? <laughs> okay, number four. What's known as fish oils, or DHA specifically. DHA is what's known as docosahexanoic acid. And this is, you, probably, you guys have probably heard about omega-3 fatty acids. <laughs> omega-3 fatty acids are really important for brain health. Oh my god, this is hilarious. It's not laughing. Okay. Ah, really important for brain health. And there's what's known as EPA and DHA. So DHA is super important for brain health. And then the EPA form is really good to decrease inflammation. So I prefer the one when we talk about brain health to increase high levels of DHA. <laughs> that was so funny. All right. Number, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Number six. So finally, we got here what's known as turmeric. And turmeric is actually, it's a curry spice, and the active ingredient is what's known as curcumin. So as an example, if you actually look here, there, turmeric's a root that's found in the ginger family. Super cool looking. And so there's many ways of uh, taking this, ingesting it. Some people like to take a supplement. I actually prefer that supplement form. This one specifically has black pepper in it. And black pepper plus turmeric, it helps the absorption of turmeric to cross your blood-brain barrier and have its powerful anti-inflammatory effects. Okay? And then over here is the actual raw form. It's a root in the ginger family. And so there's different ways of preparing it, you know, breaking it up like this. And then obviously you can also go to the grocery store and get it in this form, in the powder form. I'm not going to put it on a spoon for you. <laughs> so these, the active ingredient, like I said, is curcumin found in turmeric. And it's, if, like curcumin it has been shown to have huge anti-inflammatory properties, really important um, antioxidant. And they've done studies showing people who have higher intake of curcumin or turmeric in their diet, like who eat a lot of curry, things like that, have lower risk for Alzheimer's and dementia. So it's been used for thousands of years in Chinese and Indian medicine. So that's the top six best supplements I recommend for brain health. But there's two other ones that really aren't supplements that I want to bring into the show. These are big superstars, okay? So let me grab them for you. Move this aside. <laughs> so the first one is coconut oil. And coconut oil is fantastic. And so <laughs> coconut oil is very high in what are known as medium chain triglycerides. And medium chain triglycerides, they're a type of fat that get converted in your body to what are known as ketones. And all this research is looking at how ketones are huge, super, like act as a super fuel for your brain. 
decreasing inflammation and increasing mitochondrial health, as well as just boosting your energy and giving you great cognition and focus. So coconut oil, you can either take it as in a spoon form, or we actually use it a lot in our cooking. So that's a really great way to do, go about doing it. And then finally, another superstar is what's known as resveratrol. And resveratrol is, again, similar to curcumin. It's a polyphenol, and it's found in high amounts in red grapes, actually. And it's super powerful for fat burning, for increasing oxygenation to your brain, and just a whole bunch of different things, anti-aging and um, being very delicious. And what I'm talking about here is actually my preferred method is red wine. Specifically, I love Pinot Noir. So Pinot Noir, like a glass of it, obviously wouldn't have the high dose properly properties as, you know, high dose liquid supplementation of resveratrol. But when you drink it, you know, about a glass of wine a night or, you know, two to three glasses of wine, red wine that is throughout the week for, you know, kind of part of your lifestyle can really do great things for your brain health. So that being said, um, that is the six top best supplements I recommend for brain health. So I look forward to seeing you guys at the next Facebook Live. And in the meantime, check out my website. There's more information if you're curious about brain health. It's www.drtitus.com. That's drtituschew.com. Thanks a lot.